Hi everybody, my name is Chase Nunes uh, from GeekGamer.tv, here to bring you a brand new show that shows off application development with an in-depth look. It's called App View, um, and I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's a little bit longer as far as getting into the meat and potatoes of some of your favorite apps and some new and creative things that are upcoming. I mean, there's, I mean, obviously, you, you know what the app market looks like. There are literally hundreds being released every single day. It's just crazy out there. And so I'm, I'm trying to put the spotlight on some independent developers, small and large, for all platforms. And this week, we had the great opportunity to sit down and chat with Isaac Ruiz, maker of the Bracket Lope tournament software for the iPad and iPhone. It's a great piece of software that if you uh, run pinball tournaments or pool tournaments, billiards, uh, darts, or if you're doing something casual in your backyard, this might be the app for you with included live broadcasting on the internet of your tournament so you can share it with your friends and family. So without further ado, let's check out Bracket Lope. The awesome application for the iPad and iPhone called Bracket Lope. And I got to say a big thanks to Isaac for joining us. Hey, Isaac, how's it going? Thanks, Chase. How's it going? Pretty, Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Uh, it's uh, it's late down there in the, in Portland area. The uh, the the janitors are out now in in full force. Yes, they are. So uh, if you hear a little crashing and banging, you'll know why. But then again, it's it's probably normal for developers to be late in office buildings anyway. So yes, yes, it is. So very good. Many a late night. So I know you, uh, not truly fully personally, but I know you in the pinball circles. Uh, obviously I've, I've, I've met you, uh, I wasn't at the Seattle pinball museum. Was that where I first met you? I think, or gosh. I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, obviously we go back to pinball, but you've, uh, you've probably been involved in, 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 in pinball and other things in, in your life. So why don't you tell a little bit about yourself uh, to the people out there? Okay. Um, I've been, uh, let's see, pinball. I, uh, moved to Portland in about 2006, 2007 and, um, I lived right across the street from Ground Control, so I, uh, my friends were in playing pinball, and I would go play Pirates of the Caribbean yes. uh, nonstop. I would only do that, <laughs> and I would only shoot, only shoot the ship, and that's all I knew how to do. And tortuga. Just don't shots. Tortuga. No tortuga. No, no tortuga. No Come no, on. No, no, just jam just the, ship. the ship. It sinks. Yeah, yeah. I remember the moment <laughs> pinball clicked for me. Actually, was uh, the first time I got to sink, and the uh, table went black, and then the heart chest oh, goes yeah. and yeah it was like okay this is i'm it so you so, got in uh, late you got in late wow yeah, yeah yeah i've only been playing for about three or four years Very um, cool. yeah and then i wanted to learn objective c and i needed a fun project so i contacted uh ryan and scott at pinballmap.com and who run a uh uh, it was a Portland-based pinball database for all the pinball machines in town, and I was a huge fan of theirs. Right. And I, um, I was like, hey, I'm trying to do this thing, trying to learn a new thing, and I love your site, and I want to port it to iPhone. And they said it was awesome, and they uh, wrote me an API, and I did that. And as I was uh, testing it, I, they invited me to the pinball tournaments. I didn't even know what was going on. And uh, I started playing competitively with... Uh, uh, the crazy flippy fingers yeah. and their uh, weekly tournaments. Right. And then I was hooked. I won my first game in a tournament, and I was hooked. And uh, been playing competitively ever since. Very cool. So, yeah. so that's that's how you got bit by the pinball bug. And so, so you, so how did you get bit by the the application bug, if you will? I mean, obviously you saw a need with with the Portland Pinball Map app, and you got involved there. But obviously, in playing in tournaments, in pinball tournaments, you and I both seen a lot of people a lot of paper a lot of pencils <laughs> a lot of so many pencils and, and a lot of people trying to draw out brackets and and, and use third-party applications you know that are made for windows or for mac that worked but weren't exactly seamless so what sparked the idea for you to get involved in, in creating something at, but not just necessarily for the pinball to community because it would be used for anything we'll get into that when we show it off but what got you started in doing that and making that? Uh, well, the big thing about pinball tournaments is every every machine is a completely different beast, and your skills on this machine are going to be a lot less than that machine. Vice versa. So it was really hard to fairly balance the machines, especially when someone's running it. Um, how do they pick the machines? So the project actually started 
as a Flash randomizer, I wrote a little applet in Flash, and we would enter all the machines, and it would at least save which machines were being played, and we right. could kind of sort through them and stuff. Um, but that had some problems because we were getting complaints because you'd show up and you're playing a double inch tournament, you're going to play four games tops maybe, um, and you'd play the same Pirates game four times in a row, and that's not very fair either. Right. So um, I was kind of talking to the guys and like thinking and stuff, and I was like, oh, wait, I could just write a balancer to balance the machines out. Yeah. And if I have to do that, I might as well just write a full-on bracket application. Yeah. Because uh, we were using a Windows machine, Windows yep. application with my flash thing on the side, and it was a huge pain in the ass. Oh, excuse me. Um, That's all right. <laughs> this is on the internet. I mean, okay. yeah, at least we're not dropping F-bombs every third word. That's fine. I mean, oh, no. Don't worry about it. Um, so I wanted a flex project to do, because it's kind of before I was heavy into flash still, um, and uh, I wanted a flex project to do, so I wrote a algorithm to just build out the bracket um, in JavaScript or uh, ActionScript, and then eventually it's like, oh, this is be a perfect iPad app, and I went with that, and it evolved from there. Um, so yeah, and then by the time I got to the iPad, I realized that the the core of the app needed to be to take the organizer out of the tournament and let the computer do all the work. So right. it has one of the first, well, the first feature I wrote was to save all the player names so we don't have to type them in every time, which is huge. Oh yeah, it uh, saves a lot of time. Huge, yeah, yeah, huge pain. Right. Um, and then I uh, set up a system where we display the matches and it, you hit a button and it randomly selects the match, uh, the most efficient match in the thing. So. Um, the tournament the organizer doesn't have to think about it or um, and there's no bias there otherwise they're just flipping coins or whatever roll and die so much they wrap die and cards and all kinds of stuff so very cool well you know what I think we've done uh, enough teasing to the people out there why don't we jump into the app and and show people really really what it's all about and uh, you can kind of give us a, a glorious tour so Here's here's what the the icon looks like. I know that's important to some people. I'll click on it here and I'll jump in. And so, so if someone uh, pick picks up the, I guess, would you call it the pro version? This is what they'll see, right? Uh, yeah. There's really no visual distinction between the pro, except you can't see the upgrade button. Okay. Um, by the way, I want to shout out uh, my friend Kevin Wilson uh, designed the Jackalope logo for us. Oh, and. and you- uh, and it's very yeah, cool. I, I like the the antlers that look like uh, you know brackets. I think that's re- very creative. I love it. Yeah, we uh, when we designed we we're designing the app kind of face, and the, uh, we had come up with a bunch of ridiculous names. And, right. Uh, he gave me a sheet. It must have been sixty five like different icons of like T's and B's and brackets and this. In the very very tiny corner, it, there was a little deer with uh, antlers. <laughs> like it saved us brackets, and it was just like one tiny sketch you kind of did off of the distance. Right. I was like, Kevin, do that. It's the best thing. So, cool. Um, yeah, everyone raves about it. So thank you, Kevin. So uh, so as a, as a new user, I would probably do the new tournament, right? I would go new tourney. And... Yeah, All right, absolutely. so we'll, we'll do that, and we'll, we'll, we'll call this uh, the uh, – well, we'll, we'll call this, mm, I don't know, the, the app view tournament. How about that? So we'll do that, and so here we are. So, here we are. So what are the, some of the different options that this can do? So before I get to the big one, um, if you hit that format cell, it'll drop down and give you options to do a uh, knockout tournament or a double elimination tournament or an elimination tournament. Okay. Um, and then you can hit the strike cell, and it'll, you can adjust the knockout tournament to do one to four strikes. That's really cool. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's, that knockout's a new feature. Um, to version 2.0, which is in the App Store queue process right now, so it should be released. So, so people are seeing this brand new, fresh. This is a new feature yet to be released, yep. and there, it's going to be out any day now. So, yep, very cool. All right, very good. So, since this is a new feature, we'll go ahead and we'll do a knockout tournament. And since I'm a yeah. baseball fan, we'll do three strikes and you're out. Awesome. Sounds good. Um, Random doubles was a request from a uh, pool. Uh, customer, uh, or no, it was darts rather. They um, that will organize all of the players into two-player teams, oh. and then they continue the thing. And we did a uh, split flipper knockout tournament uh, in Portland a few weeks ago, and everyone had a blast. If you're not familiar, split flipper is uh, yeah. 
two players on either side of the tournament. Yeah. Uh, playing, and it was a, uh, it was really great. So very cool. So um, we'll leave that off for for right now. Um, yeah. Now, Ad- arena draws. This can apply to dart boards, like board one, board two, board three, or machine names. Absolutely. Whatever. Yeah. What it, so walk me through it. There's obviously balanced and random. Uh, what's the difference between the two? Uh, random is just perfect random draws. If okay. there's four machines available, you have a 25% chance to draw the machine. All right. Um, if you have balanced mode on, um, what it will do it before it picks a turn, uh, before it picks a match, or a machine, it kind of checks, gets a kind of layout of how the tournament's going, and it will calculate how many times each player has played each machine okay. and do its best to put you on a machine or dartboard you haven't played yet. Oh, very cool. Um, yeah. All right. So I have it defaulted to balance. It only applies to pinball, really, because all pool tables are the same. But right, yeah. It's still, either way, it organizes the arenas um, or whatever. Uh, to do how it does so now under payouts obviously some there's always sometimes money involved and this is where you can uh, ch- uh set up the payouts now what's what's this mean zero five seven ten is that entry fee or how's that work yeah that's just a generic entry fee um so if you hit the five it'll uh calculate top by depending on how many players you have um and it won't show you now because you don't have any players in when you right. come back um but it'll do uh multiples of five uh, pay out to top four that's another feature i kind of want to expand and um be cool if like you could customize it or something like yeah Yeah. sliders and pay out to top 16 or so right cool all right so we got our basics set up um now one thing that i'm staring at right at the top which is a feature that i've i've used is bracket lope live what's that that is a uh, feature written by my friend Pat Castaldo, um, who was pressuring me to do live updates. So, the in, even in the free version of the app, the Apple broadcasts results to a live website um, at, in real time. So wow. that way, people aren't bugging the organizer. Hey, when am I playing? When am I this? When that? Um, they can just go off, and it works. It's not app based at all. Um, it's all just regular old. MySQL, PHP, right. uh, so any browser will do, and you can track updates, and it's been a huge, uh, huge hit. So, yeah, go ahead and start the tournament, and we can um, share the. Well, don't we have to put players in first and do all that? And no, you can do it now, and it'll oh. it won't broadcast until it's okay. Uh, so I j- so I'll hit tap here, right, and just mm-hmm. all right, and I'll connect. Cool. I'll hit connect there, and. There you go. So if anybody's watching the show, it's live.brackalope.com slash T slash 624IN. Awesome. All right. So now they can follow around as we as we play. So. Cool. All right. So what's the next thing we need to do? Uh, next thing, you want to go to the Players tab. All right. And hit the Add Player button. And you want to add a few dummy players. Sure. So I'll just, uh, as you can see, I got some people here because I've I've used this lap. So of, of course I'm going to put myself in. We'll put <laughs> Jeff, John, Julie, all these great names that we know. Maka, Raymond. So right now, as you can see at the very top edge, it says we have eight people. Now, for for those who've run tournaments, you want to have a good number to run if you're running a double elimination style. Or what happens if you're running a knockout or you're, you're running a tournament and you have an odd number? Uh, I'm going to maybe do, I'll do that intentionally here. So let's say we have nine people. Okay. So it doesn't, obviously it doesn't work mathematically evenly. What happens? So, so there's, there's two completely different cases. Um, if we're doing an elimination bracket to make, to build a perfect bracket, you have to have two to the N players. So two, four, eight, 16, 32. And this app all it goes up to 128. Okay. Um, a huge 128 player bracket. Um, and that means if you have nine players in a 16-player bracket, then there's going to be a ton of buys to pass out in round one. Right. Um, so with a knockout tournament, uh, there are fewer buys to start. So I actually prefer it. So with uh, round one of this knockout tournament, there's going to be four matches, four two-player matches, and then only one person is going to get that buy instead of maybe five or six people in the in a double elimination, okay. and then as people are knocked out, it'll have whatever. But what it does, though, is it calculates how many buys a player's gotten, so they don't uh, 
they can't get two by they can't get two buys in a row if they if no one else if they randomly picked right. but um it, it keeps track and makes sure that the buys are distributed evenly got it um so and then it does get kind of funky towards the end if there's three people left then someone's gonna get a buy in like the semifinals <laughs> yeah. um so it's not perfect tournament but sure. uh it's so, it's a lot of fun it's more of like kind of pick up game have a beer and uh throw some money around so so kids don't forget that uh you know try to use that you know end to the two power and you're, you'll be yeah. safe so so you know we'll 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 see we'll go up to 16 here to make it nice and clean and easy i think actually we did a strike tournament but um whatever so we got 16 people uh mm -hmm. so i guess the next thing we need to do after we've added all the players is set up our arenas or our, yep. our places so well now um I have some numbered ones. You told me after the fact, uh, I was. it didn't matter which machine, and you told me I didn't have to add any arenas. It would just <laughs> be fine. But, uh, well, I'll type in a couple here, then I'll use the rest with numbers. So I'll put in some of my favorites here, like uh, Funhouse, and then we'll say Twilight, Zune, and then we'll say Rolling. Pirates, Pirates, Pirates. Pi yeah, we'll put Pirates in there. All right. All right. Pirates, and I won't spell it the whole thing. So, okay. so <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. All right, so we have our arenas in here. And let's say you only had four machines. This this would would work just fine. It's just that you would have people waiting to play. That's all. I mean, yeah. So you can't you couldn't run every every match concurrently. So once you have four machines left in the in the top right there, it'll uh, tell you how many. Those are available machines. Right. Uh, so if you have no available machines, then you can't start a new match until someone else is done. And this help is a huge boost for organization of kind of keeping track of who's where. And as soon as a machine or arena is available, then you can throw someone on there immediately. And oftentimes at tournaments, players uh, will finish their own match and then start the next one like without, without any organizer uh, interference. So. Well, the great thing about this, too, is if... If, like, say you're running a pinball tournament and a machine goes down, you can very easily remove an arena out, and it's it's out, and and you can say, well, and then the, and then the software's smart enough to know, well, I'm not going to pick that machine again. Yeah, <laughs> it, absolutely, it won't do that. So, cool. yeah, you can go, you can go ahead and disable one right now, and it'll take it out of the queue. So you would click on it, and basically you would uh, disable the arena, or you can remove arena, and or you can add it in, it add a new one in at any time. So yes, absolutely. So sweet. So I guess the next, uh, I think we're ready to start. So what do we, yep. uh, so what do we need to do to start it all off? Um, you can hit the, the next one over the matches table. Matches. All right. And go ahead and. It is a knockout tournament, so we'll hit start. So here are ready. round one matchups. So these, so this mode basically means we're ready. These these are ready to go. And mm -hmm. then you basically what you click on it, and then you then you start it, and then there's like a timer in there, so it keeps track how long those matches go. Yeah, um, go ahead. Before we start, go yeah. over to the bracket view. Oh sure. On the bottom tab, and this is the the knockout looks a lot different than the bracket. So round one's going to have all the matches flat, and then as we add more rounds, we can um, it'll stack and it eventually makes some kind of pyramid shape. Got it. Um, and if you tap the find player that button on the right. Left. Oh, left. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah. Left. Yeah. Um, your left, my right, whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or your left, whatever. Um, yeah, and then you can kind of... You can click find. on the person, and it will take you right... Ah, I see, and it takes you right to them, so you can see where they're at in the bracket. Mm -hmm. Very slick. I like that. So, uh, yeah, go ahead back to the Matches. match table. All right. Yeah, and this is just like a quick overview of all the stuff ready to go, Yep. and you can filter between active, um, ready, or complete. So you click on it, and we'll start. We'll start all these matches. All right, and then it's then it automatically balances and picks a machine. So it's Brian versus Raymond on Pirates, mm -hmm. and yeah. and then we'll we'll uh, we'll pick a couple more matches here. We'll start those off. Dave and Julie on Whirlwind, and then, yeah, go ahead, go yeah. ahead and hit that draw match button, and it'll pick them for you. So you oh, that's nice. I didn't even yeah. know about that. Okay, very good. So Funhouse there, and then Twilight Zone. Now there's already four going. If I hit draw match again, ah, so this says no, oh, yeah. no arenas available. Very smart. So, yeah. So go to the active or the all tab, and you can see um, those are all the ones ready to go. 
uh, the lightest blue at the top and then the bottom. Um, and if you tap on those, you get come some more options. Okay. And you can, um, a brand new feature, you can update the scores if you hit the center ah, button. That's nice. So we'll say Mitch uh, got a score of, he had a really bad whirlwind. So we'll say he got 250,000. And uh, then John Smith, he's just, he was on fire. He got 25 million. So, <laughs> so there we go. And then we uh, click on John Smith wins. And I, I like that. It's like a, a confirming, just make sure. And then you're all done. And then you can draw another match mm -hmm. and fill, fill that. And now they're playing Twilight Zone. So very cool. Yeah. So if we go and look at the, the bracket now, you could see uh, Mitch Anderson there. He's got a strike. There he is. There you go. And uh, three strikes in your right. And I like how it's got the scores there. And now at this, at the same time, was this, is this updated right to the to the website instantly? Uh, yes, it is. Wow. I um, let me go double check that. It does not show scores yet. I'm still working on that. But uh, yeah, Mitch Anderson. Oh, there it is, right there. That's what it looks yeah. like. So very very cool, man. Yeah. And so this is the regular live live web web view. Uh, web view. Um, right. The it added a internal web view for all the apps. So. Players are always asking me, like, oh, what's the URL? Find this. So now they can just open up the app and just go right to the website. Um, and they can cycle through here. And it needs some work, but uh, it's a free feature. So I <laughs> can't get a complain about way. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool. Uh, well, before we before we wrap up here, is there any, uh, any final things you want to show off here at all? Or uh, um, talk about maybe some of the, uh, the upcoming features that you might have planned down the road? Yeah, I want to do a four-player knockout version, maybe more, um, so you can have four people brawling and uh, maybe top two or top one uh, move along. Right. I want to do um, round robin. It's going to come up soon. I want to have most of the big features done by the end of the summer and then uh, just do clean up and kind of see where it's at. So Very cool, man. Well, um, if... Um if anybody uh, obviously wants to pick it up, they can they can find it on the App Store, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's uh, it's is it a universal app? Is it good for both uh, iPhone and iPad? Yes, it is. All right. And yep. uh, if uh, if they want to know more information, I know you have a, a website set up. But it's, uh, what's that website again? That's at uh, brackloop.com. Awesome, man. And uh, any 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 final words or anything you want to share along before uh, we conclude? Um, well, let's see. Uh, Jay Huckabee asked a question about the, uh, the approval process. Yeah. It takes, takes about a week. Okay. Um, very stressful week. And, yeah, I uh, bet it is. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there was no problems, thankfully, but uh, the entire app start to finish from, like, the tiny flex thing was probably about 18 months. Wow. But it was all just doing it in my free time and kind of getting the courage to release what I had and just trying to find that moment like oh it's incomplete but i can fix it so. there we go there it is. <laughs> <laughs> um and uh have reviews been positive i mean that's i guess one question i forgot to ask you is uh how's been the reception from the community um absolutely great um awesome. every i run try to run any every tournament i can do we're going to have a tournament in portland here on the 21st of April, uh, Portland Pinball. It'll be a bracket love tournament, 128. Um, but everyone loves it. We it increases tournament speed about 30 percent. Wow. Um, rough rough estimate. Um, it was a huge hit at the Seattle Shorties tournament too. Um, and then yeah, the only negative reviews I have on iTunes are for the price, and it's uh, ten dollars for anything no. more than eight people. Um, In my opinion. And I, I know you're going to defend it, but in my opinion, well worth it. When you look at some of the prices of these tournament management programs that mm -hmm. are out there right now, and you have the ease of the iPad and the portability, and especially if you have a, an iPad that's connected to the net, and the the way to instantly send your results live, dude, 10 bucks, well worth it. I yeah. just, just got to say. Yeah, and that's, that's one-time fee, all yeah. the new features. Like, if you, had, if you bought the app before, um, the... Uh, this next version gets, comes along with it. You open it up and use the new tournaments. And, um, yeah, the, a lot of the reviews, it's, it's not the cheapest, but it's the best. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Last question. Um, 
you know, I, I know we're, we're, we're Mac friends, fans, and we like messing around with the <laughs> Mac, but any plans possibly for other ports to other devices like Android or, or Windows Phone at all? I have considered that. Um, I'm the only developer on this so far, and you guys might kill me, but I'm not interested in Android right now. That's all right. Um, <laughs> but, um, I won't kill you, man. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I like the project so much that I want to share it. So if anyone would be interested in supporting it for me, um, they're welcome to contact me about that. We can work something out. But I want um, I want to save tournament organization and get away from paper because it's ridiculous. So um, yeah, it's not. I'm not signing off on it, but uh, it could happen. Awesome, man. Well. Well, I got to say, uh, you know, thanks for coming on uh, this very first episode of, of AppView and uh, and showing us around your your awesome app, Brackalope. Uh, well worth it if you're into tournament management, not just necessarily in pinball, but great for any kind of tournaments. Uh, you can have a casual tournament in your, uh, in your backyard and you're trying to pull something together. And uh, now the, the free version does give you some limited access. Uh, you want to just real quick tell people about what's involved in the free version? Yes, as of version 2, the free version has um, single elimination tournaments and single elimination knockout tournaments for eight people. Um, and if you upgrade, you can have double elimination uh, brackets and uh, knockout tournaments up to four strikes for 128 people. And that's the most of any app on the store right now. So, um, I double. So, awesome. That is. Well, the, the app is Brackalope, and the developer Brackalope. is... Tournament Builder. Tournament Builder, and the <laughs> developer is Isaac Ruiz. Thanks so much for, for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.